got a couple of packages today and I'll show you one at a time. The other one's over there. Um, first one is inspired by my friend Pella Halley. He is uh, a fountain pen collector, aficionado, expert, and um, <clears throat> he has inspired me to uh, get into the fountain pen game, so I ordered one. Uh, his fountain pens are <laughs> in the caliber of uh, Mont Blanc and uh, in the thousands of dollars, and I couldn't even get myself to uh, part with uh, $10 for a fountain pen. So I got this on Amazon. It is the uh, Zuhat Fountain Pe Dark Red Green Golden. It, it's not even expensive enough to spell out pen. It's just a pe. <laughs> um, but, you know, I'm kind of excited to, uh, to get started in using the pe. All right, there it is. It's a pretty fancy pen. Uh, it's got a nice sheen to it. Let me swing the light around. Uh, look at that. It's got kind of an iridescent red. I kind of like red. Um, I don't know if that's on the surface or what, but it's, it's kind of cool. Very stylish. Larger than your normal pens. Oops. Oh, you just pull it. Okay. See, I don't even know how to work one. Oh, yeah, it's got a little plunger, right? All right, you, so you stick stick the, it's called the nib. I don't know how it works. Stick the nib in the, uh, in the ink, and then you uh, turn this deal here, right? I guess this, yeah. And you screw it on, and I guess as you use it, the ink will run out. So, all right, let me fill her up and uh, show you how it works. All right, I got the uh, <laughs> the pen filled and had a little accident there. That's all right. It's just my little scratch pad. So, let's see. I have to look through the viewfinder and write at the same time. Yeah, how do you like that? So, it's pretty cool. Um, it takes a little getting used to. Uh, the lines are kind of broad. Um, and you have to write fast, because if you stop too long, you make a big, a big spot. So you can almost have to think about what you're going to write first, and then start writing, and then me, my hand moves faster than I can think. <laughs> so, uh... So I have to stop mid-letter and, and finish what I'm writing. Um, let's see. See, right there I stop. We have a big spot. And so on and so forth. So that is the pen. All right, next package. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? Ooh. Hmm. I recognize these these are uh, foam mats exercise foam mats thought they'd be a little thicker than this but they are a half inch thick and uh, so what I'm gonna do with these is turn my man cave into a workout area. So 
stick around for that and while I put it together. last two tiles here I actually I think I'm missing six of them uh, I have to get on my Amazon account and see if I ordered six by six or six by five but I could have sworn I ordered six by six tiles but uh, these things are uh, universal you can twist them you can put them in this way or turn them 90 degrees and Put them in this way but the edge pieces are what you have to watch for they have these trim pieces on two edges so if you're doing this you would take one of the edges off and leave the finish edge there but they are different one has a hooked end one has a truncated end and both ends are truncated like that on one side but the ends are different but uh, if you need one of these and all you have is one of these all you have to do is just trim it diagonally like that but uh, obviously you can't go backwards so you get more of these if you need one of these and all you have is these you're gonna have a little gap um, so you have to watch which which ends you leave on so like this end here if I try to match this piece up it's not gonna work see you got that so I'm gonna have to replace it with this all you have to do is just peel it up and it just kind of zips unzips and you put this piece on here like that pat it down and put your next piece up and press it together Tell you just putting the pieces in uh, it really saves your knees kneeling on this stuff versus on the on the carpet because the um, being that this is a kind of a man cave this is just outdoor grade carpet and there's a just subfloor underneath plywood subfloor and it, it's hard on the knees <coughs> all right so let me put the last piece in make sure I get everything lined up right yep that's so I'm going to pull finish in here and save these pieces so if your, um, your outer edge gets tattered, you still have replacement pieces. And that's it. That's all she wrote. My new workout area. So I'll be doing uh, kicks and punches and my Taekwondo forms and all that on this pad. It's kind of nice that I didn't have, the, it, it might have worked out that I don't have that sixth row because uh, then I'd have to move that. I, I may have enough clearance to go there. I have to try with one of the, let's see here. <clears throat> yes, it's going to be cutting it close. I don't think I'm going to fit another row in there unless I leave the trim piece off, but whatever. That's what I had in the box. Thanks for watching. Later.